here in the master bathroom looking at the Elite Series Jacuzzi Tub. I've filled it with water to below to above the lowest side jets. The control shows no flashing, nothing is on, and we'll go through the operation of the tub. To start the tub, press this is the on off button, hit it once. Change intensity, hold down the up or down button. Held down the load, the down button to turn down the intensity. The up does the same in the opposite direction. Pushing the second button will create create a variable speed pulse. Pressing it again, we'll turn it off. Go back to the normal blower. The constant flow. The second button will create a high and a low pulse rather than kind of a wave type motion. Pressing it again, we'll put it back to normal. Go back to the low. And we'll press the on off button, turn it off. It takes about 10 seconds, and then it will finally turn off. The unit is turned off. Now the sensors still have water on them, so the next step is to drain the tub. Now the process that occurs from here, just the amount of water that I put in it, it'll take about oh, three minutes to drain. And then five minutes after the water has stopped flowing down the drain, the drying cycle will start. That drying cycle runs for about two and a half minutes. At the end of the drying cycle, it's, you know, if it's got a bunch of water on it or if it's, uh, the sensors have water, if it still senses water on the two sensors down here, it will tell it that there's still more water in it. So it could turn on a little later. If the sensors are dry, what will happen is it'll dry after the, the tub drains and sits for, it'll delay five minutes. Once the water is stopped, it'll delay for five minutes. Five minutes after the water has exited the tub, the drying cycle will start, run for two and a half minutes. And then if the contacts are dry, about 20, let's see, 25 minutes later, it will run a short dry cycle for about a minute. 
and then the operation of the tub, there will be no blinking on the lights or the controls.